In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus K3PO4, magnesium chloride plus potassium phosphate. First, for net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have these three magnesiums here and only one here. I'll put a three. Now I have three times two, six chlorine atoms. Put a six here. Now I have six potassiums. Let's put a two here. That'll give me the six potassiums. I have two phosphates, two phosphates. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So chlorides are very soluble. I'm going to put a little AQ after that. Aqueous, it'll dissolve. Phosphates in general aren't soluble, but group one phosphates, potassiums in group one, they are soluble. So if you have a phosphate bonded to a group one element like potassium or sodium, they're going to dissolve, dissociate into ions. Potassium chloride, very soluble. And then this magnesium phosphate. Phosphates, often they're not soluble. But let's check that on a solubility table just to be sure. So let's find magnesium here. Here's magnesium right here and then phosphate over here. We go over and down and we see I. That I stands for insoluble. So this won't dissolve in water. It'll be a solid. In fact, these two will react this solid will fall to the bottom as a precipitate. So we have the states for each element. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. So we have MgCl2. Magnesium group 2 on the periodic table has a 2 plus ionic charge. Chloride ion 1 minus. So I have three magnesium ions. And I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. 3 times the 2, so I have 6 of the chloride ions, plus potassium group 1, 1 plus, and the whole phosphate is always 3 minus. So 2 times 3 is 6 potassium ions plus 2 phosphate ions. And these are the reactants for our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the plus and the minus, so we have 6 potassium ions, just like in the reactants, plus 6 chloride ions. Then for the Mg3PO42, the magnesium phosphate, it's a solid, so we don't split that apart. So these are our products in the net ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So we see we have six chloride ions, six chloride ions in the products. Get rid of those. In the reactants, six potassium ions, and in the products. Get rid of those. What's left is the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus K3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states of we'll our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium chloride plus potassium phosphate. You'll note that charge is balanced. I have 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. So 6 plus, 6 minus, they balance out to 0. And this over here is a neutral compound. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus K3PO4. Thanks for watching.